Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at designing a resume for free using Canva. So if you don't already have a Canva account, we'll drop a link in the description to where you can go ahead and register for an account. So once you're on the Canva homepage, you're going to head up to templates and under personal, you're going to go to resume. Now, if your drop down looks a little bit different or you don't see resume here, you can also search for it up in the search bar, but I'm going to go ahead and go templates to resume. And from here, you'll see a whole bunch of different templates to use. Now there are over a thousand different ones to choose from, which is great. And you can sort by the type of resume you're going for, or you can also sort by the color. So for example, let's say we want green, gray, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and clear it just so that we can see all of the different options. So as you can see, quite a few to choose from here. And I'm just going to find one that I like. Now, of course, you can pick whichever one that you like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. So you can either just click on it to get started or you can view the template to see it a little more closely. So there's going to be a description along with which colors are used and the fonts that are used in this template. And yep, I do like it. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And don't worry if you change your mind, there will be templates on the left hand side that you can change to. So for example, if you didn't like this one, you could simply just click on another one. Now you don't have to add a profile picture here if you don't want to, um, but it is quite common these days. So you may want to stick with it. So if you do want to stick with it, uh, first thing we're going to do here is replace that picture. So you're going to go ahead to the uploads tab and click on uploads. And from there, click on the upload media button, browse through your files and upload your photo. Now for example purposes, I'm actually just going to find a stock photo to use. So I'm going to click on photos over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop. So when you upload your photo, you'll do the exact same thing, drag and drop it to the circle here. And if the photo doesn't fit quite right, or it's not positioned right, double click on it. And from there you can reposition and you can also make it larger or smaller. And then when you're done, just click outside or you could have clicked the done button up there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is change this header image in the background. And what you're going to want to do is find an image that relates to the company or to the position that you're applying for. So let's say you wanted to become a social media marketing expert. You wanted to apply to a job and help them run their Instagram account and so on. We can go ahead and look for a stock image that relates to that. So here we have several options and all you have to do is drag and drop it. If you like this image, go ahead, drag and drop it into that section. Now by default, this template has applied some settings and adjustments to this header image. So I'm going to show you how you can play around with that. So go ahead and click on the header image here and head on up to adjust. And so, like I said, by default, there are some settings applied here that we can play with. So let's say we don't want it to be blurry. We want to actually be able to see it. You know, some of the contrast and everything is a bit much. And I'll make it a bit darker so that the text and everything pops a bit more. So if you'd like for the text to pop out a bit more, you can click on it and click on effects. And from there, you can play around with different settings. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lift effect. And as you can see, it's quite subtle, but it really does make a difference. So if we say zero or close to zero, then we increase it. If you watch the text, you can see that it becomes a little more pronounced on the resume. 
And of course, you're going to want to go through and change all of this information. And in this template, they've got the position that you're applying for here. Now you can put the position that you're applying for, like they have, or you can replace it with something else, like, you know, like a little slogan about yourself or whatever it may be. And of course, you'll go through the rest of the resume and replace all of the text with your text. So for example, personal profile, you could leave it at that if you want. And then a little blurb about yourself, your contact information, address, Gmail, phone number, and uh, social media handles. And if you'd like to get rid of any of this, so let's say this is a LinkedIn account let's say you don't have LinkedIn, you can simply click on this box. And at the moment, these sections are all grouped together kind of in little pieces. So head on up to the top and then click ungroup. And now they're all divided into the little pieces. So if you click outside and now just click that one piece, you can go ahead and delete it. You can either click on the garbage can up here in the top right or simply hit your backspace button. Again, same thing with the icon. And now there's a bit of a gap here. So what we can do is drag and select this whole thing, which is actually, it's grouped right now, but go ahead and grab it. And then we're using your arrow keys. You can nudge it up, but it moves really slowly. So hold down the shift key and nudge again, and it'll jump a bit faster. You also can drag it. That looks good. And again, so go through, add all of your text. And one thing that I would highly suggest is not only customizing the resume for your position. So, you know, talking about marketing or whatever it is you're applying for, but also creating it or designing it so that um, it's custom to the company as to where you're applying for the job. So let's say really just for example purposes and because I know the color off the top of my head, uh, let's use Twitter as an example. So let's say you wanted to apply for a job at Twitter. You want to help run their social media accounts or whatever it is. You would want to add a bit of that Twitter blue to your resume. So I'm actually going to go and grab that exact blue by Googling uh, the Twitter icon. So I went ahead and Googled Twitter images and I want to pull the blue. So whatever company it is that you will be applying for a job, do the same thing. Go look up their logo or their brand colors and you can pull it using a Chrome extension called eyedropper. So just Google eyedropper Chrome extension and install it. And what it is, is a little extension up here where you can grab colors from any web page. So for example, if I click on pick color from web page, it'll now pick up any color. So for example, I can grab this blue, this color here, this darker Facebook color and so on. So because this is from twitter.com, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is the right blue and click on it. And now up here in the corner, you'll see that the blue is there. So simply highlight and grab this hex code here. And that is the specific code for the color that we've just clicked on and then head back to Canva. So once we have the brand specific color, we can come back to the resume and add it into certain spots. And the more subtle you are about it, the better. When it comes to design, being subtle is very key. You don't want to overwhelm someone with the splash of color, but at the same time, you do want to stand out. Especially when you're going to be kind of lost in a stack of resumes, you really want to stand out when the person is kind of flipping through either printed versions or they're going through like a digital PDF, for example, of your resume. Adding the company's brand colors also shows that you went the extra mile, you did your research and put the extra effort in. So let's go ahead and add that blue. And like I said, I'm just going to do something really subtle. So I'm actually just going to update the color of these uh, shapes here or these dividers. Go ahead and click on it and then click on the color in the top left and paste the hex code for the color. From there, Canva will pull it and pop it up for you. You can click on it. And we'll go ahead and do the rest of them. Now, right now I'm doing them one by one, but what you can also do 
is select multiple and then change the color the one time. To do that, you'll have to ungroup all of the pieces. So for example, skills, the divider, and this text is all grouped together and we'll need to ungroup it to access the divider. Same thing with here. Now that it's all ungrouped, we can go ahead and multi-select the different dividers. And to do that, hold down the shift key and click on all three pieces. Now we just need to change the color the one time and it will be applied to all of the pieces. So again, that's all the color I'm going to apply. As much as it's really plain and really simple, um, it is enough to make it pop, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming. You know, you wouldn't want to take the blue and apply it to, you know, this whole section or something. It, it's just a bit too much. And to undo anything, you just, like any other program, hit Control or Command Z. And that's it. Once you're done um, updating all of your personal information, of course, and you're happy with it, you can go ahead up to download. So from here, by default, Canva puts PDF print. So it depends on what you're doing with your resume. If you'll be printing it out and handing it out physically to different locations or different um, companies, you'll want to hit the PDF print. It will be a larger file size, but the quality will be better when you print it. However, if you're simply emailing or uploading the resume to a job site, for example, the PDF standard size is okay. It will be a reduced file size, but that's fine if you're just emailing or uploading it somewhere. Depending on where you're sending it, there may actually be limits on how large the file size can be. So PDF standard is fine if you're just using it for digital purposes. So choose whichever file size or, or format works for you, and then click on the download button. And that's it. You've got a very professional looking resume that's sure to stand out.